Alright, what's for on melee finder here and today we're gonna be playing some more Z the Fist. Well then boys, today we're gonna be doing a challenge and it's going to be melee weapons only and I'm not gonna be using the perk that specializes in melee, I'm gonna be using, you know, probably the nuker just to make it a little bit harder on myself. So yeah, just to make this challenge as legit as possible, yep, I'm just gonna throw down well, yeah, pretty much everything I got in this freaking pool over here. So yeah, the only weapon, as you can see on the bottom right, is gonna be my melee weapon. So yeah, in that first, you can parry, you can block projectiles, you can slice them up. It's pretty freaking satisfying if you actually know how to do it correctly. But you just have to be patient sometimes because the Zeds, yep, sometimes they do that. They just like come at you and they just like stare at you awkwardly and, I mean, you can't even parry the dudes. Because they just don't even go for a freaking attack. Okay, this dude's gonna be annoying just a little bit. Okay, I think I'm gonna actually make a roll of these dudes and just like roll directly into them to just like... Will I whoop them up? I mean, fair enough, I take like full freaking damage. But at the end of the day, it should still be good. Yeah, thanks for that ammo box that I can't even use for anything. Boy. Dude, I swear to God. The only thing melee is missing right now is, I don't know, like some green particles when you like successfully parry something. I mean, you do get like the sound effect and, you know, there's like some particles on it. Oh, I completely whiffed that one, whoops. But yeah, a green particle for when you successfully parry some fools. Oh, here we go again. Yeah, thanks, man. Now, I can still heal if I got some heals, but other than that, oh, what the fuck? Man, just like all over the place. Oh no, we got like two of them. We can only like, roll in both of them. Oh boy, I'm on 17. Oh yes, it's gonna be bad. I mean, to be fair, there's only like 10 freaking dudes left. So yeah, oh, invincible. Here we go. Yeah, come at me, bruv. Oh, easy clap. Was that like another one? Oh, it is. Well then, boys, first wave was easy fucking peasy. Yep, this is looking different. But, I mean, I'm probably gonna be struggling giga freaking much on the boss wave. Yeah, that's gonna be fantastic. I mean, hopefully I'm gonna get, like, an easy boss to kill, but I guess we shall see. Oh, here we go. A boy. God, love the Paris man. To be fair, he does have to make the Zeds, you know a bit more predictable when they're gonna be swiping. I mean, you can actually see from the animation when he's gonna be doing that, but... You know, him just, like, coming at you and just, like, standing still... That's... I mean... Kinda bad. But, you know, the parry in general, yep, it does work. I mean, fair enough, you can't, like, parry, you know, two Zeds at once. You can only parry one. Which can be a little bit of a problem if you're in, like, a group of Zeds. But functionally, yeah, it works. The melee system is very, very cool, boy. I mean, the best part about the melee rework is, you know, actually deflecting projectiles, boy. See, just like that. And you can kill him with his, well, your own projectiles. See, there we go. Man just got direct. A boy. Oh my shit, it's not even that good. Yeah, nice. Okay, not sure why I just like made this stupid ass freaking rule of just, and eh, now I get invincible, of course. I get destroyed. Pieces of shit. I mean, you just like click for the most part, and everything just like freaking dead. But it is, well, yeah, not optimal, if that's the right word for this. Because you do get hit, even if you like parry pretty much everything, you're still most likely gonna get hit. I didn't even parry that dude. But yeah, by the way, there's also blocking in the game. You just like hold right click and you're gonna be taking less damage. See, like that. Wait, if I block... I think he still does the exact same damage. Thanks, man. Okay, let me just pop a med kit uh, real fucking fast, just because I can get some armor, because that's gonna be mandatory. And I can't use traps. I mean, I can use an uh, electric field, force field, maybe. I mean, that's not gonna be, like, directly killing any freaking Zed. So, yeah, let's see what we can do with it. A hey, boy. Oh, God. Dude, the only thing this game's missing, you know, gore-wise, is just slicing them in half. If you know what I mean. I mean, Killing Floor has, like, godly freaking gore. I mean, that's like the thing that's holding Killing Floor together is the awesome ass gore system. But you know, in that fast, yeah, you do get, you know, some legs and, you know, some stuff falling out. But wouldn't it just be so cool if you could just. Okay, this dude's gonna be annoying. Like, Giga freaking annoying. Because his attacks are even less predictable somehow. Oh, God. Here we go. Uh huh, but it's something deflected the dude. Oh, God damn. 
I mean, there's like all over the place. But yeah, as I was saying, in that first, yeah, there could be, you know, some more gore. You know, some intestines flying out. There could be, you know, slicing the Zeds in half. But since, you know, there's like only one developer and even the game, it doesn't really look like much and it still drops FPS at times. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna be a possibility, at least not in the near future, I don't think. Oh god, can you just get parried, fam? Yeah, this is what I mean, they just like don't do attacks, they just like look at you and... Well, you're just like stood there, can't even do anything. Or can I parry you at least? Okay, there we go. Okay, parry that dude, yeah boy. Dude, I love how this puke master is supposed to be like this... Well, yeah, boss type of Zed, but I mean, my man's just, yeah, bullied every single time. Okay, can I actually slice him without taking to- oh, I can. Oh, pa. I mean, fair enough, he, like, blows up nine out of ten times. So that's not gonna work. Hey, boy? Nope, he still blew up. I mean, fair enough. Oh. Dude, Gordon the Chef, you know, that freaking fat dude. Yeah, he, he, he's just, like, so hard to kill. Or should I say so hard to parry, because my man... I mean, what, what are those attacks? I mean, he's just like standing there, I parried this dude behind for some reason. But he's just so hard to freaking parry, because his attacks... Yeah, sometimes they don't match up. Or should I say they do match up, but they're like too fast. So yeah, uh, no. Okay, get some more Z-Colas, I should probably throw down a medkit right here, just in case, because this is gonna be the boss. And you know, bosses, yeah, they're definitely not gonna be... Will it easy to kill? Okay, let's see what we can do here, man. Oh my god. Well, this is gonna be bad. I mean, hopefully not. But yeah, this dude does a lot of damage. But to be fair, I'm playing this shit on solo, so it might not be as bad. Now, hopefully he can't, like, hit me through this. Oh, he can, but what do you mean? Nope, oh, that didn't work. Oh, and he just, like... Oh, I'm slapping him up. Okay, from this range, I can actually slap him up. Oh, no. Oh, don't you be doing that, fam. Hey, yo, I actually got him through the first stage. Okay, now we need to do, like, some freaking mad problems. 16, 18, there we go. So, he did actually take pretty much all of my armor away, and my man... Yeah, he was just not even supposed to hit me there, and he still did, so that was bad. Oh, God. Okay, I could just, like, slap him once and then just, like, run away. That's something I can possibly do. And I could also just like hit him with his own projectiles when he does that, you know, glove attack. Slice him up, yep, that, that shit. And I missed it, like what the fu- Bruh. Yeah, the projectiles, sometimes, yeah, they're pretty, you know, hard to hit. Oh god, here he come. Okay, there we go, this one should be, you know, pretty freaking easy to hit. There we go. So yeah, the melee, it's definitely satisfying in this game, but could use a bit more of a touch-up and then it's pretty much gonna be the best melee I've ever seen. I mean, Killing Floor 2, yes, that's probably my favorite melee system in any single game, but I mean, they do have like the parry spam and you know, the Zeds are also kind of inconsistent at times. Oh god, it does that fidget spinner attack. Don't shall be doing that. Oh yeah, here we go. Just another projectile in your face. A boy, boy. Now, if I was playing the Bone Breaker perk here, yeah, I would kill this dude probably six times over already because those melees had yeah, are quite, quite good. Okay, another one of these, huh? And he just did that. Like, what the fuck? Slice you up. Oh, god damn. Now, if I just, like, stand directly near him, yeah, I'm probably gonna be dying very, very fast. Now, I do have, like, medkits and stuff like that. Okay, that's what I mean. If he starts getting you with a bunch of hits consecutively, yeah, you're pretty screwed. Okay, time for a little bit of healing, just like that. What the hell? What are you doing? Just like some up, some down. Oh, here we go. And I missed one, yeah, thanks, man. I mean, for enough in his red stage, he does like two of them. Oh, yeah, thanks, man. Okay, ammunition's gonna be pretty irrelevant, and I do have to, like, heal, because I got, like, 80 freaking 9 health. Let's just do that real fucking quick. Oh, don't you be doing the, the freaking glove out of nowhere. Okay, slice you up. Oh, god damn. But yeah, solo that first. Yeah, it's pretty freaking easy, like, you know, killing floor, but multiplayer, yeah, he's just a freaking bullet sponge. If you know not, a lot of people are gonna be shooting at him. I mean, just good freaking luck. Oh, come on. Okay, got both of his... Will the gloves deflected? Let's just get down here. Please don't do shenanigans. Ooh, that's a lot of damage if it hits. 
but fair enough, he didn't hit and I didn't pick up the stupid ass. Oh, more gloves, huh? More fucking gloves. Yeah, you do your worst, fam. I mean, to be fair, he is like the most vulnerable when he does that attack, because it just like takes so long. Wait, what's he doing now? But yeah, I mean, Zed first, it could be like a lot harder. Wait, what's he doing? Okay, I'm just gonna have to like deflect that in the opposite direction somewhere, because he just did randomness with that attack. Oh boy, what the f- I didn't expect that one. Wait, was that invincible on the floor? Okay, I can't like deflect that one directly at him. Oh, that one just barely missed, but I still got the kill. I mean, easy fucking clap. So yeah, if you get your timing correct, yeah, parrying and deflecting projectiles is very, very satisfying. Now, like I said, the game still has like a few problems, you know, with Zed's just like standing there and not actually going for the hit. Not sure why that even happens, but if he fixes that, parrying will become a lot more consistent and, you know, way more satisfying, so you just don't have to like wait for the freaking Zed's. But yeah, it is definitely possible to complete a whole game of Z-Fest with just a melee weapon. And you're not even playing the perk that specializes in melee weapons. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys next episode. Adios.